All right, guys, we're back. Vader is yes, down, kill him. and the final boss battle is upon us. Kill him, and you can take your life and place at my side. No! Oh, Coda, you fool! Did you really Help expect him. to be able to beat him? So we have a choice: we can either kill Vader or save Coda. Go for Vader, he's the final boss. Go for Coda, Palpatine's the final boss. So, of course, I'm going to save Coda. Oh, shit. Can't blame me, that was like only two little dots. Alright, yeah, and Palpatine will call in his stupid guards. You have to kill them before you can get to him. But hey, it's a good way to get some health back, so... Um, I said last video that, um... Palpatine was harder than Vader, and... I kinda have to change my opinion. I think maybe Palpatine is probably a little bit easier than Vader. Not by much, but I think he's just a little bit easier than Vader. Nice. Good block. There we go. Alright, I, I, I don't... I guess he doesn't use his lightsaber. He just uses his force powers. You should have killed Lord Vader. You could have ruled by my side. Gotta give the voice actor who plays Palpatine credit. He sounds a lot like the, uh actor who plays Palpatine in the movies. I'm not saying, you know, spot on perfect or anything like that, but it's pretty good. I guess his voice isn't that difficult to imitate. But, still, I think he did pretty good. Ouch. Alright, so now we got a blue and a red one. I think the blues are the weakest ones, the reds are the second strongest, and the shadow guards are the strongest. <clears throat> Alright, he should just... There, there we go. Damn, he can do one hell of a uh, dash. See that he's dashing all over the place. Come here. Come on. Stop trying to run away. You wanted to fight me, so just stand still and fight. Pull out your lightsaber. Never escape Why don't you just bust out your lightsaber, dude? Go toe to toe with me. Instead of chucking explosive shit. I don't know if you can pick up that stuff and chuck it back at him. I never tried. And kind of sending these guys in is his undoing, because I feel like he would have killed me if he didn't send these guys in, because, you know, when I kill them, I just get health. So kind of by sending them in here, he screws himself. These guys die and give me health, but he doesn't. If he replenished his health. Yeah, I agree with that. Palpatine's always been our true master because Vader's always been his slave. Um, but, yeah, if Palpatine healed himself while he had his guards, that'd be different. But he doesn't. He just. just sits in there. Alright, come on, come on, come on, toss it, toss it, man, toss it, toss it. Ouch. I don't know what he's doing, he's like glitching out or something. You scream like your father. How do you know what my father sounded like? You never met him. Oh god, now he sent in three people at once. 
I could see if these guys ganged up on you and depleted most of your health. I could see how that would be advantageous for the Emperor, but for the most part, I kill these guys pretty quickly and get quite a bit of health back from them. I think I upgrade. I think uh, upgrading vitality uh, increases the amount of health you get from killed enemies. So. See, I got pretty much, I got all my health back. He took a nice little chunk out right there, but... Oh, uh, look at that. You can force repulse them, and they'll go flying, and he'll still try to throw them. Ah, uh, so that's what's going on with him. That's cool. I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that. Maybe I did, and that's why I keep force repulsing them. I don't remember doing that, though. Huh. Cool. Way to go, past me. Nice, nice. No deaths, no deaths against the final boss. And nice. Nice. Although I don't think Palpatine was fighting at full strength. You were destined to destroy me. Do it. Give in to your hatred. No, you're a Jedi now. He's beaten. Let it go. It's a trick. He's stronger than you know, and he deserves to die for what he's done to me. Maybe so. But if you strike him down in anger, you'll be right back where you began. Oh, so you knew who I was the whole time. Get Bale and the others out of here. I'll be right behind you. Sneaky little bastard. Coda. Go! Hurry! Protect the senators! Shit! Shit! No! 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 I won't let you do this! I'll leave the screaming to him. <laughs> And so, the Rebel Alliance is born. There's Vader all fucked up, but still alive. He is dead. Then he is now more powerful than ever. He was meant to root out the Rebels. His sacrifice will really inspire them. But now we know who they are. I will hunt them down and destroy them. As you always intended, Master. Uh, that was... must be relentless, Lord Vader. If even a single rebel survives, this alliance that we have unwittingly created will be our undoing. Palpatine wanted Starkiller to become his new apprentice because Starkiller is a lot more powerful than Vader. Are we ready to finish what he started? Then at last, the Rebel Alliance is born. Here. Tonight. Woohoo! We need a flag to rally behind. A symbol. Symbol of hope. Gallon's family crest. So we did it, guys. We saved the rebels. The alliance is formed. And the foundations for destroying the Empire have been laid down. Poor Juno. He's at last one with the Force. You always knew who he was, didn't you? I suspected, yes. Then why did you help us? After all the things we'd done. When he came to me in the bar, among all his dark thoughts, I glimpsed one bright spot, one beautiful thing he held on to, even at the end. What? You. 
he was in love with you, Juno. Just like you're in love with him. So, that's it, guys. Star Wars The Force Unleashed is over. Um, I, I had so much fun playing this game. I love this game. This is a really fun game. Um, and I can't wait to play the DLC, too. Um, I played the DLC once, a long time ago. But I really don't remember it that well, so it'll kind of be like blind, which would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the untold chapter of Star Wars and Darth Vader's Secret Apprentice. Um, I'm sure Vader had other apprentices throughout his career as Palpatine's uh, apprentice. <clears throat> they all try to betray and kill one another, like Shock T said before I killed her. Um, yeah, I always find that funny though in these, uh, in this uh, universe. Like, um, you can do a whole bunch of horrible, horrible, horrible things, but then just sacrificing yourself for someone else will kind of like instantly redeem you in everybody's eyes. Like, I don't know. I just find that funny. Um,. So, I I don't know. Like in the movies with uh, Vader and all that, I, I don't want to spoil anything. Although, if anybody out there hasn't seen Star Wars, I, I, I mean, I'm sure there are people who haven't. I know for, I'm sure there aren't, but still. Uh, if you're watching these videos, I'm sure you have at least seen the, the six Star Wars movies that are out. Um. So you'd probably know what I'm talking about with Vader and at the end of the sixth movie. Uh, Return of the Jedi. Not, um... Not... Revenge of the Sith. It's episode one, which was the fourth movie released. Episode two, which was the fifth. Episode three, which was the sixth. Episode four, which was the first. Five was the sixth. Or no, five was the second, and six was the third. It's very, very confusing for people who don't know about it, you know. But anyway, yep, that's it. Got all the holocrons, got all the force points. There was no bonus objective. I'm sorry once again that I didn't get all of the holocrons on screen. I tried to find them all when I was editing this, but I missed quite a few of them. But yeah, that's it, guys. There is some DLC that will be coming soon. But other than that, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1 is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. And I will see you next time.